Hello and very good evening to you. My name is Mudassar Nazar and today students we are going to learn about a topic. This is the class 7 chapter 1st topic is in teachers. What in teachers are? What do you know about in teachers? What are the in teachers? Now before talking about the in teachers the first thing we need to talk about is what are whole numbers, natural numbers, rational numbers and what are decimal numbers? Yes, the first thing we are going to learn is whole numbers. The numbers that starts from zero, the numbers that starts from zero and moves on, they are all the whole numbers. Next is the natural numbers. What are natural numbers? Yes, the natural numbers are the number that starts from one. Normally, we start our counting from the number one, two, three, four, so on. Yes, the natural number starts from one. Next is rational numbers. Rational numbers are the numbers which are in the ratio of p upon q. Where P is the, the numerator and Q is the denominator. And the value of Q, the value of Q, the value of Q, it should not also be equal to 0. It should not be equal to 0. Now, the very next thing we have to understand about the decimal numbers. Yes, the decimal numbers, they are in the form of P decimal Q. Where P is also a natural number and Q is also a natural number maybe the whole number also but definitely we consider P dot Q yes as a decimal number now apart from these all these numbers actually combined considered under the integers they are combined considered under the integers now what integers are the integers are a big collection of the numbers which contains the whole numbers negative numbers positive numbers now what integers are Integers are the numbers that can be represented over a number line. The numbers that can be represented over a number line. Yes, that are called as integers. So now we have drawn a number line over here. Now this is the point 0. From here, on the left side, all the numbers that lies are the negative numbers or the negative integers. And all the numbers which lie here on the right side are the positive numbers or the positive integers. So from here onwards and it continues in all the direction. Now for example I have written here 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now here we are saying that these are the numbers which should be under the whole number that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and the negative numbers also in here. Now, how can we distinguish that all these numbers can be counted here? Yes, the rational numbers are also there. That means if they are in the form of fraction, they also lie under the number line. So, integers form a bigger collection of numbers, the numbers that can be represented over a number line. Integers are the numbers which can be represented over the number line. Now, integers as you we know, integers are positive as well as negative. Whatever they lies with the positive sign on the right side of the number line with are the positive integers and whatever they lies at the left of the number line they are the negative integers and they lie on the left side of the number line now apart from this there is one more number which see which we see here what is that zero zero what is that zero what do you mean by that zero it is actually greater than all the negative integers but lesser than all the positive integers. Greater than all the negative integers and lesser than all the positive integers. It lies on the number line and for all the positive integers it is actually the initial point. It is the initial point. Now apart from this there are a few mathematical operations that can be applied on the integers. Definitely we know the mathematical operations that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, Subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, first we talk about the addition. First we have to talk about the 
addition now when we are adding when we are adding the two positive integers when we are adding the two positive integers definitely the result will also be a positive integer for example number 1 plus 5 it is also positive it is also positive now the result is also positive the result is also positive now when we are adding the two negative integers yes when the two negative integers are there for example minus 6 Plus minus seven. Definitely they will be added. Definitely they will be added. Seven plus six that is equal to thirteen. But the sign will be continued over there. The sign will be continued over there. The sign will be continued as it is the way it was. Got it? So in addition we can follow the addition of positive integers and as well as negative integers as well as as well as the positive and a negative integer addition of a positive as well as a negative integer also so a positive integer now what will be their result now for this case we have to rely on the number which is being greater for example 2 is added with minus 4 now what the first thing the signs they are having is completely different here there is no sign that means it is a plus sign it is a positive integer it is a negative integer the result of this that is the addition of this will be the difference between these two now what is the difference between these two 4 and 2 the difference is 2 now which one is greater the value of which one is greater the 4 is greater and the sign before it is minus So whenever you have a confusion that whenever there is a positive integer as well as a negative integer at the same time, what you have to do, you will add them. But here in this case, when they are added, when the signs are different, when the signs are different, so instead of addition, we are doing a subtraction for them and we put the sign of the number which is greater. And which one is greater? The four was greater with the negative sign, so finally we put it back. Got it? Now. The subtraction of the two positive integers. The subtraction of two positive integers. For example, six minus four. Six minus four. Now again the same procedure will be.